compare the single stage and multi stage compressor for various characteristics. So we have the two PV diagram here, one for single stage and one for multi stage. Let's fix up the suction pressure equals to P1, same in both situations, as well as delivery pressure equals to same value for both compressors. So we have 1 to 2 is a polytropic compression. In the case of single stage, 2 to 3 is the delivery, 3 to 4 is the expansion of residual air and 4 to 1 is suction. Let's say the polytropic law follows is P to the power n equals to constant. Expansion also follows the same law P to the power n equals to constant. The delivery pressure in this case will be equals to P2 and this one is the suction pressure P1 this one is suction pressure P1 at this point we have 1 so we have 1 to 2 initially a compression in LP cylinder 2 to 3 we have a intercooling let's say perfect intercooling from 3 to 4 we have compression in HP cylinder follows the law P to the power n equals to constant this also follows the law PV to the power n equals to constant. Then 4 to 5 we have a delivery here. And 5 to 6 is the expansion in H6 to this point. That is 3 point will complete your HP cylinder. So HPC will work out from 3 suction 4 delivery. 5 and 6 whereas L from 1 to 2 2 to the last point is 6 so I will continue with 7 the clearance of LP is slightly higher so this one is 7 and this one is 8 so 8 to 1 is suction for LP and 6 to 3 is suction for HP compressor uh, if you see the uh, both diagrams you will find here the actual volume here eta wall for this case is V1 minus V4 divided by Vs. In this case the communication is first takes place with uh, LP cylinder so we have to define eta wall for this stage is same as LP which is equal to the actual volume is V1 minus V8 divided by Vs of LP and this equals to 1 plus Cl minus Cl where Cl is the clearance ratio of LP cylinder and is P2 by P1 to the power 1 by N where P2 I will take this pressure and P3 is this pressure so this one is P3 the temperature rise in this case is T2 by T1 equal to P2 by P1 to the power not P2 it's a P3 actually point number 2 is on pressure P3 n minus 1 upon n and temperature in this case is magnitude is T2 and T2 is same as T4 for perfect intercooling so we have T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 to the power n minus 1. So very first advantage is that the delivery temperature in this case is this 2 and delivery temperature in this case is this 2. Now the pressure P2 by P1 is very large as compared to this P2 by P1. So here this is P3 by P1 so this P3 by P1 is very large as compared to P2 by V1 for this case so T2 has been successfully reduced in multi-stage compression and because of this one the air coming from this one is little bit cool so that we can increase the reservoir, reservoir capacity because the temperature at this end is small as lower as compared to this side we can write this equation as equals to 1 plus CH 1 plus C rather than P3 by P1 to the power 1 by N. Now as far as the HP is considered, HP is given by eta wall 
of HP cylinder is V so suction is 3 and 6 so actual capacity is V3 minus V6 divided by the Vs of HP is equals to 1 plus C L C H minus C H into P2 by P1 to the power 1 by n. Now eta wall in this case is P3 by P1 and this quantity is subtracted from 1 plus C whereas P2 by P1 is small quantity as compared to P3 by P1 so there is the advantage of eta wall that is why the that is why the volumetric efficiency of this stage is more as compared to for multi stage is always greater than this one so first advantage is that eta wall has increased and the delivery temperature I will say the delivery temperature has been decreased so this favors the multi stage compressor over the single stage compressor if the pressure ratio is very high secondly we have a mass product equation which was given as P number of acting multiplied by actual capacity actual capacity is V1 minus V4 so this is P1 into V1 minus V4 divided by RT1 where T1 is the suction condition for this point 1 multiplied by N by 60 whereas for LP cylinder we can write down M dot so we have to select the same suction point equal to 1 so it's a number of acting multiplied by the suction pressure is P1 multiplied by actual capacity is V1 minus V8 divided by R here we are selected the starting temperature is T1 so here also starting temperature is T1 into N by 60 now the same mass will flow through the HP compressor also so we have same equation N acting now the suction is taking place for HP compressor at point number 2 so we have to multiply it by P2 actual capacity is V6 and V3 so it is V3 minus V6 divided by R now T1 is a suction therefore we will take the T3 is a suction point for HP, HP compressor and multiplied by N by 60 so these are the uh, derivation these are the equations to be used for single stage and multi stage now there is one more advantage that you can get between these two in that case what we will do is that we will neglect this quantity so we will assume that ex uh, the expansion will take place from 3 to 4 like this and in this case I do also neglect the clearance volume so I will remove this portion as well as remove this portion let me cancel this also so this one is my 5 this one is 6 same is 0.7 and this point is 8 point now what is the advantage here is that suppose I carry out my compression in single stage as shown in this figure so I will call this point is 2 dash this is 3 dash this one is 1 dash and this one is 4 dash this one over the single stage so single stage will continue up to 2 dash point and this is the extra work done in case of single stage as compared to multi stage so there is an additional advantage that the, the work done for single stage this one is more work in case of single stage as compared to so this is more work multi stage in the case of multi stage is always less than as compared to single stage so there are three advantages work is reduced volumetric efficiency is increased and the temperature at the end of delivery is also decreased and because of this one the work is decreased so there is more uniform torque hence we required less torque because the fluctuation of energy is less cylinder the secondly you have to design the entire cylinder for the pressure P3 by P1 